Hello everybody, uh, it's your friendly neighborhood, Repugnant Wench, coming back at you with another hot new video game video, uh, made by gamers for the video games. It's no secret that the PC gamer is a bit of a bad boy when it comes to the gaming community, you know, because they like to gamble. They've really learned how to how to play some proker. When there's a multi-platform release, it's more likely, there's more of a chance that the PC version of the game maybe runs like shit, maybe doesn't run at all. You know, basically like if the if the console gamer is the dean, the PC gamer is, is the Jess. I've been watching a lot of Gilmore Girls. And although there's been a lot of bad PC ports this year, that's not a new thing. Like when Grand Theft Auto 4 came out on PC, even if you had that game hooked up to a Dreamcast inside a DeLorean and it hit 88, that game still ran butt chuggingly fucking slow. One company that has uh, definitely not been afraid to flirt with the idea of launching a broken game is Bethesda. But the thing is, review copies for their games would go out like a week or two before the game came out, so your favorite reviewer, IGN, GameSpot looking ass, would actually have time to play it and let you know before it came out, like, hey, this game has these issues at launch, this game has these weird Bethesda glitches. Which, side note, why does Bethesda always get the slack? Like, you know, even in, like, IGN or something, in their review, they'll be like, this, this issue and this, they bring it up, but then just like, well, that's to be expected from a Bethesda game. That's still a $60 game. They're still like big ass studio. Like why do they, when they're using this old ass engine, why do they get like this, I don't know. I've, I feel strongly about this. I'm I'm dark and moody cause I'm a Jess now. Cause I got a, I got 1070. Fight me, come on. But now Bethesda has hopped on this really shitty trend that's been happening a lot in 2016 where publishers are deciding to not give out review copies until like a day before the game comes out. And in Bethesda's review policy thing, they say something to the extent of, but Doom. We released Doom earlier this year with no uh, review copies going out like actually early and people love Doom. It's a great port and they're right. Doom is a, it's a beautiful game. I really, I really like Doom. But their other reasoning for making this decision is basically it doesn't make a difference if we do it before or not. We want everyone to experience the games at the same time, which is stupidly suspicious when there's pre-order DLC incentives or when you can play the game a day early if you pre-order it, like in the case of Dishonored 2. Now the thing is, I, I expect this kind of shady behavior from someone like EA, challenge everything. But Bethesda is a company I like. Like, yeah, I was, I was bitching about how Jess isn't stoked about the performance of all their, their PC games, but like, I like their games. And one game I really liked that was published by Bethesda was the first Dishonored. And that game ran beautifully on PC. It even ran beautifully on Xbox 360. So I was stoked for Dishonored 2, especially because I just, Got a new 1070 in the hog. It's all reloaded. I was insanely stoked for it. But when I started reading about like how Bethesda changed their review policy, I started to worry a little bit. And uh, sure enough, runs like shit. On, reportedly on console too. Dean and Jess, they're both fucking pissed. It's disappointing in practice as just like, you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't have people pay $60 for your fucking game when it won't even run on a high-end rig like my own where I can barely get 60 FPS, even on medium, just at 1080, like, that sucks. That super sucks. I mean, that's a given, that that's bullshit. But when it runs with issues that are just so, like, did you not test this game like weird shit like it automatically sets its cpu priority to low it has weird ass frame stuttering the frame rate is linked to the mouse smoothing type bullshit and you couldn't disable the mouse smoothing until they update it just like awful awful shit plus just really tacky shit like the game boots up with a loading screen that it's not optional it's like a loading screen with a bar it's like the old gta games on ps2 you know they launch and they just go to the thing with the bar it has one of those so you wait through that probably like round 30 seconds or something and then it has those stupid ass intro things where it's like made by this person made by this person powered by this person 
check out fucking Maple Story, but you can't skip that, and then another loading screen, and then the fucking main menu. So on top of being a shitty PC port, every time you exit the game to go fuck around with something in like the Nvidia control panel or try to find a, a way to fix this game, you have to sit through all that shit just to boot it back up to see if it runs. I mean this. That's just me fucking ranting, but I I was so disappointed by this Dishonored 2 release because it does seem like a good game, but with the performance issues it has, even after like the beta patch that I've installed, there's something about the game that just makes me sick when I play it. I play a lot of FPS games and they don't give me a headache. Like I played Titanfall 2, flirted with Mirror's Edge, Cataclysm, Warcraft, whatever it's called, and like those, those don't make me sick, those were fine. But something about Dishonored 2 just gives me the gnarliest fucking headache. I even like cranked the FOV. Maybe I need to try messing with other stuff. I even tried playing with the controller. Like, it just, it's more disappointing than like Mafia 3 was. Cause I was excited for Mafia 3, but I knew there was a chance it was gonna be butt shit. Cause it was like a new studio and there's, there's a new chance. And I figured they'd like prioritize the console release. But for something like Dishonored 2, where the first game ran so good on the PC, and it was such a polished package. The fact that the second game launched like this and had shady pre-order shit going on for it is just... It's not cool. It's not fucking cool. And that's why there hasn't been a rap review for it, because I haven't even been fucking playing it. Because it makes me sick. This week, I've just been working on album stuff, which is probably a blessing in disguise. So, I guess that's me kind of apologizing that there hasn't been a video earlier, but like, sorry. There's not, <laughs> there's not gonna be a fucking rap review for this, because it just, it's not, it's not fun to play it, which I know that's not the point if you're reviewing it, but I had such a personal excitement for the game, and such personal disappointment and it makes me sick that it's like I just can't do it so I guess to to, to wrap wrap this up um, don't pre-order games because this kind of shit happens on console 2 like the the console version of Dishonored 2 isn't supposed to run good or you know even potentially my favorite game of all time Bloodborne that launched with a bunch of issues and even though they eventually got patched that's not cool like even my favorite game I can't defend that kind of behavior of launching a broken package at launch. And I realize there's a lot of factors that go into it, pressure from the publisher and deadlines and all that shit, but whoever's in control, however high up who makes those decisions, have a little bit of, a little bit gusto, a little bit of, a little bit of passion to deliver something that actually fucking runs. So, fuck Bethesda, honestly. I guess that's, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, Anyways, been working on a lot of music this week. Um, if this video didn't really uh, get your goat, sorry. It's just something I really wanted to talk about. But uh, I should have a music video up for next uh, track off Dead Friends soon. It's called College. Well, that's the title right now. It's a banger. So expect that. Uh, if you follow me on Snapchat, you've probably seen maybe some teasers. I don't remember if I've snapped them. I post a lot of stupid shit. But uh, yeah, happy holidays. Rory fucking sucks, I guess. I don't know. Bye.